Good morning. Can everyone see my screen? Yes. Oh, awesome. Thank you. Ah, hope everyone's doing well. Um, today we're just going to review some of the simplified issue products we have on Quote and Apply. Um, this one of the easiest places to start uh, building your practice. Um, you know, as in the name, you know, simplified issues, simplified underwriting, usually much quicker option for 99% of the cases. Um, they're very simple products. I just want to explain some of the ups and downs of the product to everybody. Um, you know, some of the benefits of this is you can improve your placement ratio, you expedite underwriting, and obviously everybody's going to get paid a little quicker. What is Simplified Issue Life? Simplified Issue Life is um, life insurance where the product is going to be issued to the client without sending out a medical examiner, ordering medical records. And how do they accomplish this is by doing most of the underwriting electronically. Carriers use the existing databases for electronic underwriting in conjunction with knockout questions on the application in a phone interview in some instances. We've had the phone interview waived for our quote and apply applications on Mutual of Omaha, which is a much bigger deal than most people would think um, for a carrier to sell a life insurance policy to someone without anybody meeting that person in person is pretty remarkable, but um, we've had such a good persistency rate with our simplified issue. Mutual of Omaha agreed to waive the phone interview. Um, so basically carriers use the existing databases and you might be wondering what those are. Um, there's MIB, which is your medical information bureau that tracks any insurance claim you may have had, any insurance decision as far as any declinations or ratings you may have received in the past. Um, if you've been hospitalized, that information goes into the medical information database, works just like your credit score. Carriers can pull it up and they can see instances with different codes that will let them know what has happened in your past. Um, in addition to that, they have a prescription check where they check every prescription that you have been prescribed and the conditions um, that it may relate to. And then they have some newer databases out there like LexisNexis, which actually blends information from the Medical Information Bureau, the prescription check, your credit score, your credit use. They can see where you're, uh, what kind of purchases you're making. Um, we've had instances where people have been rated tobacco and they have not disclosed that they are non-tobacco strictly by credit card purchases. Uh, they can see that. When they come up with the rates for these products, what they do is they blend table ratings in with either a preferred or standard rates and they blend it so they'll go down to a table four rating on term iul ul um, non-participating whole life and on final expense they go down to six tables a table rating is basically a rating above standard um, they add 25 percent to the standard cost of insurance for each table rating so at six you would have 150 percent and they take the super preferred or preferred rates and they average it out over the base. And that's how they come up with a standard rating. Um, on simplified issue, you're going to have two options. You're going to be approved or declined. And it's either going to be a tobacco or non-tobacco rate. Due to the less stringent underwriting on these products and the quicker processes, especially using all these databases, and in some cases, a phone interview, um, decision, underwriting decisions are usually made within a week, assuming that the application is in good order and no special circumstances come up, like you need a collateral assignment, et cetera. Does anyone have any questions at this point? Okay. These are the products we offer for simplified issue on quote and apply. We have term. Universal life, index universal life, non-participating whole life, which is going to be your final final expense, and we have participating whole life. Now, to be clear, 
the universal life, index universal life, and participating whole life products are non-med only. They may have to order medical records in the future. Um, but they waive the exam. And with our uh, ability to use um, our tool to download medical records for the carriers off the client's uh, medical provider portal, we've sped up this process quite a bit. Um, this week, we had a non uh, uh, instant decision. Last weekend, we had an instant decision banner term submitted through quote and apply on Sunday, approved within an hour. And then basically the poor agent's just waiting to get contracted before that policy was issued. And I believe it was issued already. Um, that's a pretty remarkable product. We have about 50% of the cases we're submitting through the banner instant decision approved that way. And then 50% could get knocked out and go to full underwriting because they find that the client hasn't seen a doctor in the last 18 months for age appropriate physical or a medical condition or a non-medical condition comes up during underwriting that gives them concern. And when I refer to non-medical, it might be uh, bankruptcy or uh, in most cases, driving violations because they do check your driving record on these simplified issue products. What simplified issue products are available? Well, on term insurance, we have United of Omaha, United of the Southwest, and Assurity. Those are simplified issue where you're guaranteed not to have a uh, medical exam and guaranteed not to have medical records. We have final expense with, I'm, I'm sorry, we no longer have Oxford Life. We have final expense with United of Omaha. Um, and we took Oxford Life because basically they were not priced competitively. We had zero submissions with them. And then we have the guaranteed issue final expense with Gerber also available. Today, we're going to focus on United of Omaha's products. Um, their simplified issue suite has been around for, I believe, over a decade and a half. Um, and um, most of our simplified issue products are submitted with United of Omaha. United of Omaha's Term Express, their simplified issue term, it's available from ages 18 to 60, base amounts from 25,000 to 300,000, and it's all age banded, as you can see. Uh, you know, ages 51 to 60, you have a max face amount of $250,000. They all include living benefits. That's chronic, critical, and terminal illness riders. These living benefits are not available in California or New York. Um, and the simplified issue term is not available in New York. They have one conversion product available for this product because it is simplified issue. United of Omaha has a simplified issue IUL express product, and it must be converted to up to the point where the term, uh, you know, if you buy a 10 year term up until the 10th year or age 70, whichever occurs first. Does anyone have any questions up to now? These are some of the unacceptable medical conditions for United of Omaha simplified issue term. Al alcohol abuse, um, Barrett's esophagus. The big one is going to be diabetes. That's, that includes, encompasses type 2 or type 1 diabetes. If United of Omaha has one uh, Achilles heel, it'd be diabetics. Um, they won't take anybody who's been diagnosed with diabetes prior to age 50 for any of their products. Um, most of, and that, rest of the rest of the. Hey, Todd, that includes type 2 also, right? Uh, uh, type 2 also. Anybody who's been diagnosed prior to age 50, they're not going through. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah. Only reason I ask is a lot of people think metformin is not a big deal, but it definitely falls into the category. So I thought I'd bring that up. Yeah, yeah, exactly. If you have a diabetic, please reach out to me for a quote. We probably have to go outside, quote, and apply, but we do have other e-app platforms we can use in okay. many instances. Very cool. Very cool. Um, sleep apnea is a little unusual 
Um, typically, when you go fully underwritten product, you can get a standard non-tobacco rate for sleep apnea. But um, because the underwriting is so minimal on this, they don't want to accept that risk. The rest of them are pretty much standard. You know, cancer especially. You know, this is not a good product for somebody who's had cancer in the last 10 years. All right, now, in order to qualify for this, the uh, coverage, you know, the build has to be in with limits, within limits, Todd, you can't. Todd, can I interrupt you one more time? Yeah. Okay, so you just said with Mutual of Omaha, any type of cancer in the past 10 years, right? Right. A tip, but now, I'm being generalized, they'll take basal cell cancer after two years, you know, skin cancer. But in general, okay. it's not something you want to go simplify the issue with. Okay, and and guys, I, I just wanted to I want to emphasize some of this stuff because Todd is always available if you're in a situation like that and you're trying to offer mutual or whoever, and the person says, "Yeah, I've had cancer in the last five, ten years. I'm working with two people like that right now." So instead of just say, "Oh, let me go straight to Gerber and guarantee issue," I would call Todd, and he knows. Every underwriting, every carrier, things that we'll never know. And pull up, although I'd love you guys to write mutual if it's somebody else, but it's more beneficial for the client and they can get level first day, that's worth give, making that phone call before we automatically go to the guarantee issue. So I just wanted to kind of interject with that. Thank you, Kevin. In fact, if any of these situations apply to a prospective client, I want you to give me a call. Or shoot me an email and we'll go through and shop this. Um, build within limits. Well, pretty much everybody's with any type of underwriting is going to have a build chart. You can't exceed that unless you go with a guaranteed issue product. Uh, no major medical conditions. That would be the previous slide with the unacceptable medical conditions. Um, any previously issued United of Omaha approved at standard or better. Don't submit a new, uh, simplified issue on top of this. And if you do, give me a call because we have max issue limits of risk that United of Omaha will take. Um, applicants have to be a U.S. citizen or legal permanent resident uh, with no plans to travel outside the United States or to any ha hazardous locations. Uh, you must have evidence of regular medical care if over age 50, uh, no more than one death of a parent prior to age 60, no convictions for DUI or reckless driving within the last five years, no felony convictions in the last 10 years, which is actually pretty liberal, Kevin. Um, a lot of carriers won't take anybody with a felony conviction. Uh, no life, health, or disability insurance has been rated or declined in the past two years. Uh, no, they can't be a private pilot or a crew member. And no hazardous activities in the last two years, like skydiving, scuba diving, etc. In addition to the final expense, uh, the uh, simplified issue term from the United of Omaha, we also have the Promise Whole Life Final Expense Plan. Max face amount actually is up to fifty thousand dollars this year. Yeah, I was going to mention uh, that. That's, that's a big, that's a big jump. That's awesome because another carrier that I also like only goes up to forty thousand. And uh, anyway, I was talking to an agent about that the other day, and Mutual did go up to fifty. That's a big deal. Yeah, yeah, that's very recent change. Surprisingly, they didn't announce it, which, uh, yeah, I think they should have made a bigger deal out of that. Um, face amounts available from that's for the level death benefit. Level death benefit means when you buy this coverage, you buy the policy, you've accepted delivery. When you have a level death benefit, if you have a $50,000 death benefit, that $50,000 death benefit is available to your heirs if you die immediately. Right? That's for people that are rated table six or better ordinarily. So it's you know built down to a table six rating. If people have health conditions that would make them worse than the table six rating if it was fully underwritten, the policy turns into a graded death benefit plan, just like the Gerber uh, guaranteed issue. Graded death benefit means 
if you pass away in the first two years, the death benefit is equal to premiums you paid into the policy, plus the company gives you 10% on top of that. After the second year is done, the full death benefit is available. So if you have a $50,000 graded death benefit plan that costs $300 a month, and you've gone 23 months of paying premiums when you pass away, your return the premium is going to be what 6,900 plus 10%. So you get about 75,000, $7,515 would go to your heirs instead of 50,000 had you made it to the 24th month. In addition, all these plans from United of Omaha have the living benefits except for California and New York, and that's chronic, critical, and terminal illness riders. So if you get a chronic illness, meaning you need long-term care or chronic care, um, you can access your death, part of your death benefit to pay for that. If you get diagnosed with cancer or a critical illness or have a stroke, you can access part of your death benefit um, to help pay for those bills. That I want to touch base on that, too, because um, in the past, with some of the carriers, you would have to pay additional money for a rider for living benefits. To have this built in, I would really, really emphasize this. This is a very, very big deal because if a person does get this policy, regardless of how much it is, then they do get diagnosed with one of these things. And you have low-income clients, uh, I shouldn't just say low-income, but Anybody that needs money right away, this is a big benefit to have because some people always ask, well, can I get my cash value at that point? With a living benefit, it kind of takes away that question and it gives added benefits. So I would really, really emphasize that. And, yeah, and it comes out of your death benefit, not your cash value. Um, right. Keep in mind, you know, as Kevin alluded to, before you had to pay for the riders up front with this kind of coverage, and this includes anybody with li included living benefits, at time of claim, you're actually charged interest on the money you accelerate. Um, it's not a terrible high cost, usually it's the same as the national interest rate, but it's there. And they charge you at time of claim versus the time the policy's been issued. All right, here we go. These are the automatic declines, unacceptable, uh, unacceptable, medical conditions from for the United of Omaha's final expense product. Diabetes diagnosed prior to age 50, as I said earlier. Um, amputations caused by disease, meaning if you get in a car wreck and you lose an arm, you're good. Um, if you have diabetes, type two diabetes diagnosed after age 50, um, you get neuropathy and then that builds up, you get infections, everything else, you have to amputate an arm or a leg. That won't work. Uh, that'll be a decline. Uh, Alcohol-related pancreatitis, um, severe asthma, Hodgkin's disease, uh, rheumatoid arthritis, severe rheumatoid arthritis, uh, muscular dystrophy, sickle cell anemia, and pacemaker. Sickle cell anemia is a big one. We have one carrier that I'll take that uh, fully underwritten. Why is... Uh why is it, I've always wondered, why is rheumatoid arthritis a decline? Uh, just because of the medications they take? The medications they take affect their kidneys and everything else. Their mortality, yeah, can be less. Um, in addition, don't forget, you have a chronic illness rider. The arthritis could get to a point where they're going to need ADL assistance, oh, everything okay, else, yeah, right? Yeah. Okay. yeah. Uh, all right. We have some other accelerated underwriting options available on Quote and Apply. Um, express issue term from Banner Life, which they now call instant decision. Like I said, we had one approved on a Sunday in one hour from submission. Um, and it was submitted on a Sunday. I mean, uh, it's pretty remarkable. Our system actually is designed to automatically submit the electronic application to Banner uh, when they link to their site. And at the same time, our system sends in your contracting electronically to Banner. So uh, this agent on that Sunday had a policy submitted 
approved and his contracting submitted on a Sunday. Had he already been contracted, the policy would have been issued that Monday, uh, which is pretty remarkable. Yeah. Yeah, we have the simplified issue term from maturity up to $350,000 on quote and apply. We have life of the Southwest product, which also has all those built-in chronic, critical, and terminal illness riders available on quote and apply. We have their simplified issue from Transamerica under Trendsetter LB, which is their living benefits product available on quote and apply. Sorry, I got to remove the Oxford. I forgot about that. Uh, we have a simplified issue IUL from Life of the Southwest available on quote and apply quote and apply. And finally, we have the guaranteed issue final expense from Gerber. You have somebody uninsurable, you write this application, they can get death benefit up to $25,000 from age 50 to 80. Instantly approved, guaranteed issue, no questions asked. And just to add on to that, the guarantee issue with Gerber actually pays after two years. So it's 24 months, one uh, day, and then it same yeah. premium, same face value, but it it's just a little shorter period for a guarantee issue. Yeah, it's got that. It's got the graded death benefit, just like the United of Omaha's Mutual yep. of Omaha's graded death benefit. Yep, yep. Um, that would be the case for any guaranteed issue plan, and actually, technically, any uh, final expense plan that's rated. And that's it. Does anyone have any questions, comments, ideas on how we can improve quote and apply, how we can improve your uh, experience? <clears throat> oh, Michael, hold on a second. I'll go back. I just saw your note. Is that what you needed, Michael? The unacceptable medical conditions? Uh, yeah, the first screen that you had that had sleep apnea on it, so it had a, had a more detailed list, a, more, a bigger list. There we go. Hold on one second. It should be coming up soon. A little slow. Oh. It was like a delay or something. Yeah, I think... Uh, with the weather, we've had a little bit slow down in our internet service here. California. Does that make sense? That's the one. That's the one, right. And I believe we were, we're recording this, right, Kevin? Uh, yes, sir. Yeah, um, and I can, I'll, I'm can. i happy to shoot anybody the uh, PowerPoint if they want it. If uh, I got a, I got a comment, Todd, if you don't mind. So, Guys, I can tell you this. I've known Todd a couple of years now, three years, whatever. And uh, every time I'm on one of his calls, I learn more. He is probably one of the most knowledgeable, if not the person I know, is life insurance. Now, this simplified issue, whether it's term, whether it's final expense, is one thing. Eventually, maybe we'll you know, go into other things, whether it's index universal life or, or whatever. But um, having back nine as an option for us, uh, versus just everybody individual. I mean, that's an option you guys have, but it's a big deal. I mean, you can do a bunch of different things under one umbrella. You have Todd as a, our rep, which can help us with anything. And if you guys aren't real familiar with uh, quote apply with back nine, if you want, I can ask Todd, I don't know if he's available either next week or pretty soon to get back on and maybe spend uh, you know 20 minutes, 30 minutes, whatever we've done today on quote apply because it's great to have all this knowledge about the products but if you're fumbling around or you can call todd one-to-one -one for the quote and apply but maybe a show of hands or if anybody wants to jump in if you guys want to maybe set that up uh next week or whatever we can definitely do the quote and apply it would, it would have to be the week after next okay okay right, or, next week yeah, have a yeah, yeah, yeah. we'll York. set it up yeah. i just think that's a big deal that uh we know how to do that or if you if you plan on giving everybody your contact information, maybe they can set up one on one so they don't have to wait that long. But yeah, I mean that's important. We know how to do that. Otherwise, it it doesn't make a lot of sense. <laughs> and Catherine, um, to answer your question, Ozempic, the lower your A one C specifically, 
they are going to consider that as diabetes. Um, and with these products on the simplified issue, like the final expense in the term, there's no gray area. If you're you're prescribed a medication for diabetes, even though it's probably used, it could be used for weight loss or something else, they're going to rate you as a diabetic because the only information they're getting is from the prescription check and from the MIB. It's not going to indicate any gray areas. In that situation, you can reach out to me. We're going to have to look at a fully underwritten product or a diabetic-friendly final expense, like Transamerica. And Criticia, all right. Um, so, you know, um, long-term care insurance is the only other product currently available on quote and apply other than life insurance. And when we developed the uh, quote and apply in-house, we had no idea long-term care insurance being added would ever be acceptable with a carrier um, as that product usually has very stringent underwriting um, they want face-to-face -face interviews on anybody above a certain age, and it's a senior product, but we did get it approved and we're able to get it through compliance. Um, so, yes, we do have uh, long-term care products on there, long-term care of life hybrids, and I would not be surprised if you don't see a annuity product available on Quote and Apply. Um, once we get through the compliance issues of seeing people over the age 65, et cetera, and possibly a disability, that's going to be a little harder. And I think another pretty cool product now is a lot of the companies have uh, simplified issue IULs now. Yes. So eventually when we get to that point, which is kind of neat. Um, so guys, any other questions for Todd? I mean, if you don't have his contact information, um, Todd, if you want to give it, otherwise I can send it or have the office send everybody that was on the call today. Um, but I can tell you this, they call Todd, email him, whatever. If he's not available right away, yeah. he is busy. He will get back to you quick. That I can tell you. Yeah. Um, my email address is easy, Todd at back, B-A-C-K, the digit nine, I-N-S dot com. Um, I think everybody's going to have my cell phone number and office number. Office number is 805-413-4302 cell phone number 310-892-9073. Reach out to me anytime. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. We do have other simplified issue plans that you can do online quickly outside of Quote and Apply if we come up with a situation. So if for some reason your client doesn't uh, uh, will not work with the carriers we do have, I can reach out to other carriers, see if they can uh, accept it as well. Any other questions? Anybody else have a question about anything at all? All right. Well, I'll leave it with this. I mean, simplified issue life insurance is what uh, we really want to focus on this year. Um, some carriers go up to $450,000 now, simplified issue. I would, yes. And here's the benefits to that. And some incidents like Todd said, we have to go fully on it. I know that. But I would leave you with this thought. Um, Simplified issue, most of the time, by the time you're done with the application, you know whether they qualify. And that gives you opportunities, if they don't qualify, to pivot to something else before you hang up the phone. It gives you an opportunity to tell them right away that, boom, you're qualified and you're gonna, the coverage is going to start. Uh, it gives you an opportunity to make money quicker. I mean, there's so many advantages. And uh, so I would just leave you with... Uh, and Todd would agree, every quote, every stack, every time you talk to someone, prospect, a client, just bring up life insurance. They might not always want it, might not always need it. Maybe it'll be another time, but you got to plant the seed. I think that's one of the things that we don't do enough. We don't just ask everybody, have you had life insurance? Do you have life insurance? When's the last time you updated it? Is it, is it permanent? Is it whole, or excuse me, term whatever? And then it opens up to uh, a conversation. So anyway, I would leave you with that. Todd, any final yeah. words? Yeah, actually, I think, uh, you know, I think it's important. Uh, we all realize that we're in an industry where we're selling guarantees to people, regardless of the product, doesn't matter if it's meds up, um, life insurance, disability and everything. As long as your situation comes up and it's covered in your contract that you've written with the insurance company, 
the payouts guaranteed unless something pretty drastic happens. And today people are looking for guarantees. Our annuity production has gone through the roof strictly because of the guarantees offered. Life insurance, regardless of the product, it may not be guaranteed for the life of your client, may be guaranteed for 10 years. Those guarantees are right there in black and white. And people are seeing the value in that more than ever now. And I think it puts us in great position. Times like these, we do well. And I think that's something we should feel very fortunate for. Um, and, and in good times, we can still sell our products because uh, once again, there's an upside and people appreciate that. I think uh, we're lucky. Yep. And again, so many benefits to offering life insurance. It's the only insurance our clients will ever have over or under 65. We know 100% for sure will pay off one day. You got to kind of think about that stuff as well. So, exactly. all right. Well, hey, thanks everybody for being on the call. This is recorded. If you need it, let me know. I'll have it sent to you, Todd. Really appreciate it. You and me will talk about future endeavors. Look forward to seeing yes. you this summer. And everybody have a great day. All right. Thank you. See you, Kevin. Bye. Bye. Bye.